Spoiler warning, there is footage of the new raid in this. If you don't want to see, wait to watch this video till later. Hey everyone, Mtash here, and this is a more PvE based review on the transverse of steps. A lot of you guys were upset because I called these trash tier exotics. Because in PvP, they really are. And in a lot of situations in PvE, they still are. These are not god tier exotics that are good everywhere but there are moments where it can shine. So let's talk about a few of them here so you can at least salvage these exotics if you have them or you spent the coins and you want to use them here and there. So let's get started. The transverse of steps in most situations don't give you a big advantage for speed. However, a lot of people did point out that when carrying objects, such as during the siege engine part of the new raid, it actually increases your speed when you crouch down. I wanted to prove it and show you footage from the raid, but I couldn't find a team quick enough. So I decided to test it with another object, and it's very apparent that when you crouch down in these boots, it does increase your speed. However, if you're the only person wearing these boots, you're faster than everyone else, and you're carrying the relic, well, you might just get ahead of everyone, spread out the team, and hurt your team more than help them. Yes, this speed boost can help. Yes, it can come up clutch, but in many situations, it might hurt you just as much as it helps you. It's something you need to practice with and play by ear. If multiple people are using this during the siege engine, it could be great, but it can also be terrible if it's abused and used in the wrong situation. So, keep that in mind. Now the big argument that people are making as well is, you can use your guns like a black spindle. You can just keep on shooting, hit your crits, pick up ammo, your guns reload for free, it's amazing. Or you've got your Gallahorn on your back, you run up to an ammo pack, it reloads. And I get that, that's a very cool thing to happen. And right here, you could see in the bottom left corner, I just picked up some special and I didn't have to reload my sniper there. But for the most part, this perk is extremely situational and average at best. Yeah man, there can be a bunch of special ammo below you or heavy ammo and you keep getting to shoot your gun and you never have to reload. But if there's no ammo on the ground beside you, then it just doesn't do anything. If you're also wasting time looking for ammo on the ground instead of just doing DPS to the boss, then you're failing your team. More often than not, more engagements than not, when you're out of special or heavy or whatever it is, if you just swap to your primary and lay into the boss, you'll do more DPS over the course of the engagement than taking the extra one, two, three, four, five seconds to locate some special or heavy on the ground, run to it, and then start shooting again. I get it guys, I'm not an idiot. I understand that these can work and they can feel great and they can do good things, but more often than not, these are going to feel like an average exotic. They don't give you an extra melee, they don't give you an extra grenade, they don't give you quick draw and faster reload speed for your weapons like the Ophidian aspects. These are an average exotic at best and the amount of people that are defending it saying, it's amazing, I won the raid because of these, it's bullshit guys. So. Let's talk about a couple of the strengths and weaknesses, and then we can be done with this review. Strength number one. Obviously, any time you can reload a weapon for free without actually having to do it, that's a pretty cool proc or perk to have. So, if you've got something like a heavy machine gun or a shotgun that takes quite a long time to reload, if you run over a special or heavy brick, get that ammo, and now that weapon is reloaded, sweet. Your DPS going on to a boss phase might be better, you're doing a strike and you get a free reload out of it, that's fantastic, you can be happy that it happened. For positive number two, you can carry things faster. So if you're doing the raid and you're carrying the relics, or you're doing echo chamber carrying the spark, you can move faster. That's always a nice thing to have. But don't get separated from your team and lose because you're separated and get picked off by a captain or something like that. On to the negatives. For an exotic, I feel that this is so situational, uh, it's, it's not in my personal preference to use this as my exotic slot. If there's no ammo on the ground, the perk is pretty much useless, and the movement speed you get from crouching isn't good unless you're carrying a relic, and even then it's still maybe not that good. The other thing too is, crouching doesn't do anything in PvE really, like for the most part it doesn't matter, so the movement speed you're going to get from that is nothing, which also translates to being useless in PvP, so I just feel that these boots are super average. And if you don't agree with me, that's okay. That's fine, guys. I don't care. You might think these are god roll, but this is my opinion and my review of this exotic. 
I also recognize my previous one was so PvP focused that you guys were annoyed that I missed out on some of the cool factors of PvE. So I wanted to cover them and say, yeah, there is some cool stuff that happened, but I'm still not convinced that I want to use this time and time again when I'm doing a raid or strikes or whatever it might be. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.